Hey everybody, Navajo here, and uh, today we want to talk to you about the new Ranger Point Precision Improved 336 load gate. And uh, I've got one installed here in this old 35, but uh, I just want to show you what this thing will do for you. And uh, it's going to get rid of that stiff, sharp edge load gate that you're dealing with. And uh, man, this thing is just really smooth. And something that I really like about it is you just press in on it and your rounds come right out where they come in. And that's the way I always thought, and a lot of other people I'm sure agree with me, I, I, that's the way a load gate ought to be. And I've spent a lot of time over the years modifying load gates to do that. But with this product, you just order one that comes in the mail and you put it in. And uh, that's why we're shooting this video today. We want to show you how to install one of these in a 336 and I've got set that to the side over there I've got my old 3030 Ackley here I'm going to use for a demonstration here just to show you how to put one of these in now the first thing you want to do naturally make sure your guns unloaded and push this thing all the way down here get you a good set of flat ground screwdrivers that fit like they're supposed to. Take this lever screw out first. And pull down on it straight down and it's just going to come right out for you. And next you want to take your bolt out. And if you've got your hammer spur on there it makes it really easy you just push down on that lever on that hammer pull straight back on your bolt that's going to come out for you and next thing you still got your ejector sitting in there in the, in the little slot that it sits in and you want to be careful not to turn your gun over while you're doing all this that thing will fall out on the floor but I, I like to use a pair of tweezers here that I stole from my wife and uh, reach in there and get that little thing out and set it to the side and now your guns field strip this is this is uh, the way the 336 design uh, works and a lot of guys including myself we like to field strip our guns so we can clean them from the back but now we need to go a little bit further than this now you want to let your hammer back down and you got to push this little tab up that's the lever would naturally hit that but you got to push it up with your finger pull the trigger and let your hammer down that's going to make it a lot easier um, when we get this stock off so we can take uh, your hammer spring and your little retainer clip off. But now you want to go for this tang screw here. And again, flat ground screwdrivers are a really good investment. Okay. There's your tang screw. Set that to the side. Now your stock's just going to slide right off like that for you. Set that to the side. Now you want to go for this hammer spring and the little retainer. And, it, and you can see it sits in a little old groove there. And all you got to do, if you, if you make sure your hammer's down. Don't try this with the hammer back. Um, just push it to the side and it's going to come right off for you. And again, you need a, a good place to work, you know, well lit, and a place to put all this stuff while you're taking it off. And now, <clears throat> what we're down to is the lower tang. We can, we can remove the lower tang from here. And there's three screws that hold it on. You got the one that the, the hammer pivots on. You got one in the bottom here up front. And then you got one on the off side over here. And so that's that's what we're going for now. We want to take them out. Whoop. Now that'll happen. 
Okay, now I want to talk to you about these two screws here. The one in the front and the one that goes on the side there. Now one's just a little bit longer than the other. And they're actually, other than that, they're, they're identical. So you can get them, you know, in the wrong spot. Now the long one goes on the bottom, short one goes on the side. So you want to remember that. Now your lower tang is, is just sitting there. And so you, can, you should be able to just take your thumb and push this. And it comes right off. Your trigger assembly will be in there. Now the next thing you want to do, uh, you want to reach in here and get this lock lug. Pull it straight out. Set that to the side. And now, the only other thing you got to do, you don't need to go no further than this. Just reach in here, take this carrier, and, and pull it down. Now you can get to your load gate from here. And that's that's all you really need to do. Don't worry about your hammer or nothing. No, go no further than that. And I've got me, I've already got the, the right size bit here, you know. And I can't tell you, I can't stress enough to get you some flat ground screwdrivers. Now you want to reach in here. I'm going to try to set this where y'all can see. You want to reach in here from the bottom and just hold up on that load gate. And get your screwdriver on there and just break it loose and come out with it slow. And you'll feel when, when that last thread... There, see there it goes and just take it with you you don't want to lose that thing because you'll never find it if it gets on the floor and now your load gate should come out that one had some loctite on it but uh, anyway now I'm just doing this for a instructional video because this this here this is a this is a ranger point load gate that's already in this gun so I'm going to put it back but uh one thing um it, it would be easy to put one of these in upside down and if you look it's got a little Ranger Point logo and that's going to go up so I mean that might sound redundant to some of you guys but if you ain't paying attention you could put one in upside down so you just want to reach in with it and you can look through your screw hole you can tell when everything's lined up now blue Loctite that's what you want to put on here just to drop that's all it takes and uh, take your screw and just set it on there and a lot of times you can get this thing started just with your thumb and just go back with it there you may have to go back and forth a time or two until it, everything lines up just right don't over tighten this thing because you know your Loctite is going to do its job. You want to take, you know, wipe off your excess because when that stuff gets hard, it's hard to get off the receiver. Okay, install. Now, we're just, uh, just do everything in reverse. It, just swing this carrier back around and don't forget your lock lug. And you might want to take this opportunity, you know, to give your gun a good cleaning. Um, and oil everything. I like to put a little bit of oil on my lock lug when I go back. And you can't, this only goes one way. So, you know, you can't put it in upside down or backwards or whatever. It, it, it'll only fit in there one way. And it just slides, you know, right in. Now you want to go back with your lower tang. And this is, this is the only thing about this that's, that's, you know, kind of a little bit tricky. Because this this uh, this rear screw here, everything rides on it, you know, your hammer, and then it also goes through, you know, your lower tang. So this it's a little bit of a trick to to line that up. And what you got to do is you got to get this trigger. You got to press this little old safety button and get that trigger lined up. Get everything started in there. Line it all up. And then, see, there it goes. And you just got to look through there and get everything lined up. And if you, 
just push down on it and wiggle it. There it goes. There. All right, when you get that, um, then you want to go to the front one. And again, that's, that's the longer of the two. Just get them started. Don't, don't snug them all down, you know, because there's three different screws here. When you get them all started, then you can snug them down. That way you know everything's lined up right. I gotta switch back to that bigger bit here. Okay. Like I said, just give them give them a round or two. Make sure everything's started like it's supposed to be, and then snug it down. Let's see, I've got everything going here. Can go ahead and snug it all down. All right, now make sure your hammer is forward, and you can go ahead now and put your hammer spring and your retainer in. And some guys say they can push these on with their hand, but I can't. So the way I do it is I use a screwdriver I just hold this you know with with my thumb and my finger just push the set the gun down I got a piece of leather here on my, on my table and I just take a, a regular screwdriver and push there it goes see and now if, if this thing is, is not lined up just exactly perfect when it snaps in place you should be able to push it you know side to side with your hand and line it up now once you got that you want to again press this little safety with your finger pull the trigger and cock that hammer back now you can go back in with your ejector And remember, it has a little old round dowel that rides in this hole on the receiver, right between these peep sight holes. And it's, it's got a machine groove in there that it sits in. And once you've got that thing in, reach in there and, and hold it with your finger. And then go, you should be able to put your bolt back in. There you go. Now a lot of times what will happen is your lock lug, when you put it in, it will go all the way up and it will prevent you from getting your bolt in. I've, I've, I've had guys, I've seen it on Marlin owners, the guys will come on there wanting to know why they can't get their bolt back in and that will be the problem. Now if that happens, just turn your gun up and give her a bump on, on the bottom there and that will let that lock lug go back down. But uh, we didn't have that problem this time. But some of you guys out there might. Now what I like to do, um, when I get this bolt back in, I run it in until it's about level with the little cutout for the load gate. And if you do that, you should be able to take your lever and just go straight in like that. And everything, will, you won't have to fumble around with it and everything. Now, I like to put a little bit of oil right there in that hole because that's your pivot for your lever. And there you go. Now your action should be put back together. You should be good to go there. You trigger the air check, make sure everything's going to work for you. Now, last but not least, you stop. Give her a little old bump, and that should go right back in. And 
and there you go now you might want to go back over everything and uh, make sure everything's snug down like you want it to be but there you go installed you can do it it's not that hard and uh, get you one of these low gates from Ranger Point Precision they're made out of T6 aircraft anodized aircraft aluminum they're going to make things a lot easier for you it's going to be like it's supposed to be you can load and unload through the load gate get rid of all them sharp edges and that stiff load gate that you're dealing with and you can in, you can put one in yourself thank you for watching